And finally, there are people who say they died, went to the other side only to come back. They've shared vivid stories of their experience in between, some recounting a heavenly realm, while others saying their encounter was anything but. They're called near-death experiences. Can they be explained through science, spirituality, or both? Priscilla McGill says she glimpsed into heaven. I just remember like sitting on a cloud in light and peace and calm. I had no fear. Ronald Reagan says he witnessed the wrath of hell. And it was like that ambulance literally caught on fire. But I knew my body was still on the gurney, but I was floating. And I began to hear screams of people all around me, crying, screaming, wailing. And, and it's like I was passing through this smoke. Priscilla and Ronald are among a group of people around the world who say they've been to the other side and back. A near-death experience, or NDE, is a psychological event that may happen to a person close to death or in physical or emotional crisis. Priscilla was critically injured in 2017 when she was hit by a car while crossing the street. As a young man living a life of crime and violence, Ronald got into a fight and nearly bled to death. I don't discount these stories necessarily being a person of faith. UT cardiologist Dr. Jeff Johnson cares for people who are often on the brink of death. One of his patients shared a near-death experience with him. He looked at me and he said, the things that you hear about and you read about, the light, the warmth, the very pleasant feeling, and then he did become a little more animated and he said, it's hard to describe but I didn't want to come back. Stories of NDEs span the ages, but still remain a mystery. Dr. Johnson says while there is no one explanation, there are theories. Near-death experiences, the question comes to mind, is the brain um, dead? Is the brain still functioning? Is the brain in a form of what we call stunning, as in it's stunned? It looks like it's not really functioning, but it is. Charles Swedrock is the president of IONS, the International Association for Near-Death Studies. It's a clearinghouse of NDE information, stories, and research. He says near-death experiences aren't specific to gender, age, or even religion. He adds they're not hallucinations or signs of mental illness. If you listen to uh, an experiencer who's just sharing their experience, uh, for the first time, they tend to go into incredible detail. Hallucinations or mental illnesses tend to carry over time. The details shift. They're inconsistent. Priscilla and Ronald have heard from the naysayers. I, say, I know I've had plenty of people tell me they had you on high power drugs. I did. Then until you experience it, I, I don't think you can really 100% change it. People say, well, I, I don't. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. Right. You know, if, like, I, like people would say, well, I don't believe in a God, or I don't believe in an afterlife, or I don't believe in whatever. Well, that's their choice. They both say their brushes with heaven and hell transformed their lives. Priscilla found faith and determination to walk again after spending months in the hospital after she was hit by the car. This time last year, I couldn't walk. Now, I've got to where I can walk. I may never get back to normal, but I can... Be grateful that he gave me more time. Ronald turned from a life of crime to the ministry. Over the past four decades, he's pastored churches in East Tennessee and led mission trips around the world, sharing his message. Speaking hope and life and what uh, God can do, how lives can change. I had the opportunity for the first time to speak with Pastor Reagan mm -hmm. 25 years yeah. ago when we studied the same topic, and it is still as powerful today as it was then when we talked. Well, we appreciate both of them for sharing their stories with you, Robin.